Ray tracing is another new setting added alongside the new NVIDIA driver version 456.38. As some of you may already know, ray tracing is a technique that makes light in video games behave like it does in real life. It is done by using an algorithm that is capable of tracing paths that a beam of light would take in real world. Using this technique, game designers can make virtual rays of light appear to bounce off objects, cast realistic shadows, and create lifelike reflections. Applied in games, and you will see a significant visual and graphics increase over epic settings, with the obvious trade-off of performance. Unlike some other games, Fortnite requires graphics cards with ray tracing cores for this setting to work. This means only cards made by NVIDIA and their RTX lineup only. For next generation consoles such as the PS5 and Xbox Series X, it's still unclear of whether or not ray tracing would be available on those systems. My guess is that it will since these new gen consoles are pretty powerful and are all targeting 4K 120fps gaming experience. In the future, this setting may even work with cars such as the GTX 1060, 1070, and 1080 if Nvidia and Fortnite decides to work on a new driver. But for now, ray tracing will only work with the RTX series. A few things to know for this setting to work are that your Windows version must be Windows 10 version 1903 or newer. DX12 must be used and the NVIDIA driver must be version 450 or higher. If you want the smoothest possible experience with ray tracing on, DLSS should be turned on to either balanced or performance. Unfortunately, I don't have a PC that supports ray tracing. I'm stuck on a laptop with 1050 Ti. However, I can show picture comparisons between RTX on and off posted by NVIDIA on their website. In the first picture, we can see right away that with RTX on, Windows reflections became possible. Shadows are darker and the overall lighting is more realistic. In the second picture, everything is much more calculated with RTX on, which results in a darker appearance of the entire image. We can also see that the reflection off the table from the lamp glow is much more realistic with only certain areas on the desk being brighter. In the third picture, shadows of the balcony is much more detailed with RTX on. We can see that the light is shining through the gaps between each wood planks, and shadows beneath the handlebars being a little darker. Overall, the visual difference between RTX on and off is huge. If you play this game casually and love seeing better details on the screen, then this new setting is perfect for you. With that said, I hope you enjoyed. Consider subscribing as I often make this type of video. Peace.